Hi everyone, <coughs> it's Kathy Ryan here in uh, Bundaberg, Queensland. And you see before you a 40 by 60 cent, uh, sorry, 40 by 50 centimetre canvas or fifth, approximately 15 and a half by 14 and a half inch. So it's not the smallest one I've ever done. And I just, uh, bugs already, uh, it's that time of the year I suppose. Um, and it's very windy outside so the little devils are coming in out of the wind. Um, I thought I might just um, see how this goes because what I would like to do is um, red, yellow and probably a bit of white or maybe a splash of black and, and go like in an infinity sign and then have um, black and white going up and down and just see what the pattern um, from from something like that will do so um, I'll start with the yellow oops I put too much in there didn't I all right there's yellow we just stand over here and some red and if the yellow and red um, mix up and and sort of go a bit orangey that'd be nice as well and some white that I've just flicked all over me A touch of black. There's silicon in each of these colours and um, if you were wondering what the mixture is for the paints and the pouring medium you'll find that under show more just below this video. That's where I keep all of that. It's just a lot to remember so I just put it down there and if people want to know, they can just have a look. I'm thinking I'm making up a bit too much here, but we'll see. Right. And the last of the red. Looks pretty. And I'll do a little squeeze job there and uh, we'll start. I'm getting reactions with the paint already. <laughs> well, the other thing I put in this paint was a uh, um, Oops, wrong way. Go this way. Oh, well, that'll be interesting. I also, in this paint, put um, a bit of uh, alcohol. It's about 97%, so I'm already seeing little trees. Oh, I'll have to do um, something and uh, See if I can't get those little dendrites to work for me. I uh, haven't in the past been able to get them to work, so when you don't expect them to, they do. Sounds about right. And yeah, some white on the top. I'm doing this here probably off camera, but hey, you know how people put paint in the jars. Look at that. I mean, before I even muck around with it, I've got to bring you down and, and let you have a look at, at, that's unbelievable. This is something I've been trying to do and then I've just accidentally kind of done it. So, look at those. How about that? Oh. And they're over here too. Obviously uh, I did something right. Maybe I haven't been using enough of the uh, of the alcohol and this time I have. All right I'll just switch off while I hook you back up. There that didn't take long. <laughs> All right so now I'm going to um, try this bloke. Yeah. 
lost my white so that's easily fixed I'll just squirt some more in right now we'll see what happens here's hoping the black and white don't take over all right so a little bit to you and a little bit to me Just do a little circle here. This is a big canvas. I don't know if I can juggle it and let you guys see the story that's unfolding over to the corner, please. That'd be nice. Thank you. Enough. Maybe run off some of this black. And down we go. Come back over and give him a shake. Probably should get some edge catches. And now this black. A little bit more paint to run on. Then you go. My hands are pretty. <laughs> Come on. Trying to catch up all of that without losing it. And I think I did a pretty good job. Take that off my hands because it's too pretty. And I think a bit more now down to this way. Stretch this out. certainly made a nice pattern and I have to just wipe my hands off and I'll just bring that to there I think that's a bit more straight and um, I'll just wipe my hands off and then I'll torch it and see how we go it's so pretty look poured hands okay so torch and lighter
that's amazing. All the little fractals went. Of course, I thought they would as soon as I started tipping the paint around. But there's not anywhere near the uh, cell action that I thought I would get. So I think that's kind of interesting in a way. And I, I don't know what might have caused that. Under show more down below, you'll find a, a link to my <coughs> Facebook group, which is Australia Art Dreaming. And you're more than welcome to click on that and uh, come across and join us. We'd love to have your company. And um, I'm a bit sorry I lost those fractals. I might see if I can get one up here with the red. Just see what happens here. Red and yellow, where are you? Here we are. And, ugh, gross. Just rub a little bit more of the alcohol on. and silicon see if that works doesn't look like it's going to so where's the black okay are you going to work Hmm, maybe not. Oh, I can see some little fractals here. Maybe they're just going to take their time in coming out. So that's an interesting um, way to do things. Back the front. <laughs> so I want to put some, a couple more on. I think I have um, killed them all except for these that are coming up from underneath nothing's going to happen so I'm just wasting time here I'll just and wagon those in a little bit and and here I like this part plain My phone's ticking off. And it's one of those phones, if you don't answer it, it just keeps doing it until you do. <laughs> Man. So 
anyway, I've got a lot of nice cells coming up and they're growing as I'm watching them. Okay, it looks like fire. I think that's about all I can do with it. And uh, I'll bring you down to have a look. It's really very pretty. So I'll bring you down and uh, I'll, I'll see what the, uh, the glare is like over here when I get you off here yeah too glary come around this side and uh, have a look at it quite nice from um, this angle but here we are this is easier to see and If I can't keep me out of it. <laughs> Pretty cells. And the lines are very pretty. And we've got um, bushfires here at the moment. And it's only spring, so it's going to be hot summer. So this kind of looks like fire going through the the bush and uh, it's all very sad but this is really quite pretty so please give this uh, video the thumbs up and i'll see you in the next video bye